Working on an aggressive timeline, UT plans a biorefinery on this 40-acre site in the Niles Ferry Industrial Park in Von Orr. The groundbreaking is soon, 18 months to build, and then the first gallon of cellulosic ethanol, or grassoline, will be made here late in 2009. After that, production really kicks in. At full capacity, the plant will produce 5 million gallons per year of cellulosic ethanol. UT's Dr. Kelly Tiller is one of the leaders in the university's biofuels initiative. The proposed buildings are shown in this enhanced aerial photo. Tiller says the biorefinery will be more than just a corn to ethanol operation. Here the emphasis will be on cellulosic materials such as switchgrass, but also other crops, wood chips and ag residue. An estimated 170 tons per day will be converted to fuel. Those will go into a manufacturing facility, a conversion facility, where that cellulosic material will be broken down through chemical means and uh, fermented and distilled into ethanol. UT's initiative is a research and business model that will position Tennessee as a national leader in biofuel production. The university will invest $40 million to build the facility and a number of UT experts will be working here. It's in close proximity to UT. I mean, it's probably 35, 40 minutes away. Our research people and our team are going to have to be going down there back and forth all the time. Our extension folks are going to have to go out there and be educated. The site also has access to rail, barge, and highway transportation. Another key is the nearby farmland, good for producing switchgrass and other materials needed to make biofuels. Given that we're in the heart of a very productive farming region, and this is a really good fit for the types of farms and farmers that we have in this area, so that makes it a very attractive uh, location. UT leaders believe biofuel production is a potential new commodity for farmers. There will be future incentive programs for them to give switchgrass a try, and Tennessee producers like the idea some of our nation's fuel could come from their fields. Our dependence on foreign oil is, is too much. We've known that for a long time, so if, if the farmers can have a part of national security, that would be an added bonus to adding just some income to the farmers. When you put entities like state government and the, and the governor and the University of Tennessee and Tennessee Farm Bureau and so many other uh, agencies involved in, in a total uh, prospect of a project, then good things can happen. But just the concept of having a dedicated energy crop, a new crop, in Tennessee is, is really exciting for me and I think good for agriculture in this state. UT and its partners, the Mascoma Corporation and Oak Ridge National Lab, envision a number of these biorefineries statewide. Extensive production isn't coming tomorrow, but it will be happening on this site in about two years. And the reality of cellulosic ethanol is off to a good start. This is Chuck Denny reporting.